Hi and welcome. My name is Phil Lieberman. I'm president of Lieberman Software Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at how we integrate with Microsoft System Center Service Manager and how we integrate this product into our privileged identity management solution. If you're using SCSM, you know that its components are a CMDB, CMDB database. In addition to that, SCSM is also involved with the creation of trouble tickets. The obvious reason for the trouble ticket is something has gone wrong somewhere. Now the key to the entire process is to make sure that you have repeatability and also to make sure that the right person does the right thing for the right reasons with the appropriate approvals. If this trouble ticket was open because you have a system that has a problem, Sometimes you also need to provide access to that system at the root or administrative level. That means that somewhere this particular user has to be able to get administrative password to that particular machine. So the question is, is in an ITIL process, how do you grant that access and how do you terminate that access at the appropriate time? What we've done is we've created a product called Enterprise Random Password Manager, also called ERPM. ERPM maintains a complete list of all of the credentials, uh, that is all of the root level credentials within all of your systems as well as where those particular credentials are being used. Now the key to our integration with Service Manager is this. Via the integration, when somebody has a trouble ticket and they need access to the system, the databases of SCSM and ERPM are linked together via the integration. The net result of that is that if a particular person wants to gain access to this particular machine, what they will need to do is they will need to request access from our application. Our application will go into SCSM and into the CMDB and will go ahead and verify that in fact that the person requesting this, let's call this uh, user XYZ, XYZ in fact has opened up a trouble ticket number. We will verify the number of that ticket. We will verify the user who is requesting the password. And if everything looks good via the integration, ERPM will grant the credentials for a limited amount of time. But the product will also update the trouble ticket itself. And it will do more than just simply update the trouble ticket. It will show on the trouble ticket when the credentials were checked out, why they were checked out. Not only that, after some period of time, which we would expect the work to be completed in, it will automatically change the credentials and then update information or update that information into the trouble ticket itself. What is the goal of all of this? The goal of all of this for those of you who are responsible for SCSM is that ITIL is designed to provide responsibility or to make sure that a responsibility is managed properly and that processes are implemented correctly. Now, obviously, the release of something such as a privileged identity is a very, very sensitive resource and you want to make sure that that is tracked correctly. As a result of this integration, the release of these credentials, in fact, becomes part of the ITIL process and becomes a transparent capability within SCSM. To make this more concrete, Chris Dunniff will now give you a demo of the integration. Chris, take it away. Enterprise Random Password Manager integrates with System Center Service Manager, or SCSM, Microsoft's Help Desk Ticket Management System. When any event, good or bad, occurs in Enterprise Random Password Manager, such as a failure to run a job or a password for a privileged identity is recovered, a ticket can be automatically created within SCSM. The integration starts by configuring login and various priority configurations within ERPM in the System Center Manager configuration dialog and providing any additional event configuration. Notice how event 1014 has additional configuration associated with that particular event if it were to occur. The required configurations are completed by identifying which events to pipe to SCSM 
for ticket creation. In this case, we will be configuring for connection failures and password recoveries. We simply select the pre-configured integration for System Center Service Manager and click OK. To see how tickets are created within SCSM, a password change job will be created using ERPM, which will change the administrator password on most systems. However, one of these systems will fail. A password change job requires selection of the systems, click Change Passwords, identification of the account to be changed, the built-in administrator in this case, the preferred password settings, and complexity requirements, and length. In this case we will do only a simple password change that will not propagate to any other possible account usages and identify the schedule on which we want this password change to occur. ERPM will spawn threads to every system and attempt to change, in this case, the built-in administrator password immediately. However, not all of these systems will be successful. When events like these failures occur, ERPM can be, and in this case has been, configured to generate output to SCSM. In SCSM, we find the event with the failed system. Notice how this particular event in SCSM shows the failure for the system that failed. Since a failure for managing a system has occurred on a system managed by the help desk, the help desk will need to determine and fix the problem on the system. In order to do this, they will need to gain access to the local administrator or fire call account on the system, as their personal accounts do not have the necessary permissions. A help desk user will log into the web interface and recover the passwords for the target system. However, they will be prompted for the ticket number as is found in SCSM. The help desk user will click on passwords and be presented with a list of accounts that they are allowed to recover. The user will click the recover password link, enter in the reason, and enter in the ticket number as is found in SCSM, then click recover. Because the ticket number exists and can be verified with an SCSM as an active ticket, the user will be presented with the password for the system's administrator account, which will then be under their control for a period of time. When this time elapses, or when they're done with their work, the user will check in the password, and the password will be set to a new value, and the end user will know nothing about the new password on the system. However, if the user does attempt to recover a password and the ticket that they enter is not a good ticket or cannot be verified with SCSM, when they click recover, they will be unable to recover the password. Managing access to your sensitive systems is a critical element in maintaining your entire ITIL process. Service Manager provides you with an excellent ITIL starting point as well as with a CMDB and an excellent trouble ticket system. What we have done as part of a win-win solution between ourselves and Microsoft is implemented an integration that allows you to take the release of your privileged identities and integrate it with your trouble ticket system. The nature of this is that only the right people with the right tickets will be able to gain access to sensitive systems. All of those accesses will be recorded on those trouble tickets. And in fact, we can also assure that somebody who does not have a trouble ticket and is not the right person will be unable to access those systems via our integration. 
If you'd like to try this out, here's how. If you're already a customer of ours using Enterprise Random Password Manager, you can download the integration packs right off of our website today. They're available at no cost. If, on the other hand, you're not an existing customer and don't have an existing uh, privilege identity management solution, we'd be happy to help you set one up. We have virtual machines available for download in both Hyper-V and VMware format, and we're going to help you set this up and also help you integrate this immediately with your SCSM integration. On the other hand, if you don't want to touch your existing SCSM integration, we have a complete server farm that you can play around with online. The system has over 100 systems in it and it provides you with the ability to try out our solution in a real environment. For more information, please contact us.